What's up guys? This is Great Dane Gaming. I'm Dane and today we are playing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. And this game just came out today and I'm super excited. I've already played some of it, but I want to share it with you guys uh, because I'm, just, I'm so excited. Uh, Mountain Blade 1 was... Uh, Still is one of my favorite games, um, and this game A is very, very long awaited, and B uh, kind of I think lives up to what it was supposed to be. Um, so let's go ahead and create our character. Um, so we've got our different nationalities here. I am going to go with the Vladians uh, because this 20% more upgrade XP to troops from battles is huge because the, the troop upgrading in this game I think is slower than the original Mountain Blade. I might be wrong. It's been a long time because I knew this game was coming so I, I haven't been playing Mountain Blade um, Warband uh, but it seems really slow and and that was playing with as the Vladians um, so you've also got the uh, Stur Sturgeons the Empire um, which there's actually three different factions in uh Calradia that are the Empire. Um, and then uh, Aserai Serai Serai I don't know. I'm going to pronounce a lot of things wrong. I pronounce the things I create wrong, so. Kuzates uh, <laughs> Kuzates uh, and the Batanians. Um, so in my opinion, the two best of these by a long ways are the Vladians and the Empire. Um, because the rest of these are a lot more specific. I guess if you're really into trading, having cheaper, um, caravans and less p trade penalty is pretty pretty fantastic but these are all just s reduced speed penalties um on in different situations uh but we're going to be vladians so let's go ahead and well let me read this uh so the vladians are the descendants of adventurers from the west who lived under the empire for centuries before forming an independent kingdom with the decline of imperial authority they have evolved into a well-organized feudal society led by a caste of warlike nobles who prefer to fight with spears and lances on horseback. Which, honestly, is a pretty effective way to fight. Okay, let's get some clothes on our guy. Um, let us... randomize him a bit. This character creator is actually pretty fantastic. Um, it There's some character creators that fight you. This, this one very much works with you to create what you want. Um, okay. Let's do that. Change his hair to, yeah, that. 
Uh, let's go eye color blue and then he gets the eye scratch. All right, this is our guy. Should do. All right, so this little bit here is how we end up with our starting stats, um, which are quite a bit different from how uh, Warband worked or the mount, uh, the original Mountain Blade. Um, and probably better. Um, it's it's different, and yeah, I guess it depends on who you are whether it's better or not. But I like it. Um, so I could go through and read all of these, but that would take a long time. And if you're really curious about that, you should play the game. Uh, so, we are going to be a Baron's Retainers. Or, at least, our our parents are Baron's Retainers. Uh, so that gives us Riding and Pole Arms. Both of which are very useful. Uh, and then... We are going to, let's see. We're going to have skill with horses, which gives us a little bit of medicine, which is great in the early game before we happen to get a doctor as one of our companions. Um, one of the interesting things about Bannerlord that's different is you are limited in the number of companions you have by your clan tier, which is also a new new thing in Bannerlord. Uh, and, and we'll see that shortly. Um, but at the start of the game, we can only have three companions. So being able to cover some of the bare minimum of like medicine um, could help us out, especially since there's a lot more companions. So tr at least it seems so to me. Um, so finding a doctor might not be the easiest task. I had never found one uh, when I was playing earlier today. So like all village children you helped out in the fields you also um what did we also do we could be in the smithery uh repair projects that's what we want to do so that gives us engineering for sieges and smithing which is a new feature also to better alert that i'm so excited about uh and eventually you'll see why um, and when that eventually comes, we're going to need to have some two-handed. Okay, I'll, I'll explain why. So, the, the smithing system in Bannerlord allows you to adjust sizes. Like, you, you find all these different parts of the different, or you unlock all these different parts of the different weapons, um, and then you can customize the size of each one of those parts that you install into the weapon you're making. So you can make a gigantic greatsword if you want. And another thing that has changed with this game is now you can actually hit multiple enemies with one swing of a weapon. So I really want to see what happens when we have a giant two-handed great sword swinging back and forth and if we can like just take out three enemies at a time on as we raiding a castle or something and that's my dream we're a ways off from that so um right now what we want is definitely not that 
uh, we want to ride with the scout. So that gives us more horseback riding and some bow, which is the all-important stat in spite of the fact that I'm actually not putting that much into it in my character creation here. Um, before you set out on a life ad adventure, your biggest achievement was... Uh, we want to invest the money in land. So that gives us some trade, which will just help us out in general making money um, because it just improves uh, prices. I, I believe it makes sales prices lower and for, or like we, we buy things for less and sell things for more um, with a higher trade skill. And also smithing. Um, like many families in Kilradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and, two, your, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn which you were staying, the inn at which you were staying, was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, and your two youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because, um, I'm going to go with you organized travelers into a breakout that gives us charm and leadership. Leadership is a very important stat because we're leading armies and charm is actually a lot more interesting. I believe I believe there was a stat equivalent to this in uh Warband. Um I might be misremembering, but I think there was. And basically all it did is it made you grow in standing with, uh, you, you know, lords and stuff more quickly. But Warband actually has, like, dialogue stuff that this affects. So it may, be, may open up some interesting uh, opportunities for us pathways whatever you want to say um so we're going to name our dude here Durek, and we are going to oh, set all the damages to realistic which is potentially a little rough but um I mean, I've been playing Mountain Blade for a long time and actually have never played on realistic player damage because what happened in Warband if you got killed in a battle is it just went off and simulated the rest of the battle, which often turned out worse for you than it would have otherwise. Um, whereas this, it actually keeps playing out the battle, um, which is pretty cool. And you can like jump into following uh, other, other uh, characters... Um, recruitment difficulty I'm going to leave on easy um, I mean I don't I don't think this is probably making a huge difference when it says two extra I'm guessing that means two extra uh, troops per thing uh, per, per village or town that you're recruiting at which is probably not going to sway it hugely but um, it does take a little bit of the grind out. I'm also going to leave map movement speed at uh, plus 10% just for the sake of video recording and keeping things moving along at a snappier pace. So let's start ourselves here. Uh, so interesting thing I noticed here is th this is our brother and his face changes every time you start a new game uh, and I'm curious to see if that happens with other people too 
which I'm not sure if I recognize anybody else well enough to uh, be able to say one way or the other, but we will see. Um, yeah, but it must just generate random faces for the characters each time you create a game. Um, so, anyway. Brother. It's been three da days now we've been tracking those fellows. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Varric and Alda? Are we up for a fight? Uh, I'm going to skip a tutorial. Um... Because, I mean, I, I did the tutorial once already. It's also almost identical to uh, Mountain Blade 1. So, yes, we will skip the tutorial. All right, then. Let us split up and look for the little ones separately. I'll send you word if I find them before you do. One other thing, brother. We want people to take us seriously. We may be leading men into battle soon. Let's let's give our family a name and a banner like the nobles do. A few hours after you leave the training grounds, you come across a wounded man lying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds as best you can. He tells you he's a traveling doctor. Uh, to thank you for your help, he hands you a small bronze artifact, which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior who said that it was related to Nirtz's folly. He suspects it might be of great value. You res resolve to find out more. And then we select a family. Um, so just a note about uh, that is the, the beginning things of the beginning uh, story notes there change a little bit based on uh, whether or not you play the tutorial. You end up functionally in the same spot right here um, but how the story happens is a little bit different um, and I'll leave it at that if you guys want to play the game you can find out for yourself uh, so our family name is going to be Shamgar bam We are going to have the ox head. So Shamgar uh, comes from the book of Judges in the Bible. Uh, and Shamgar slayed, uh, I think it's 300 Philistines with an ox goad and also saved Israel. And that's all they tell us about him. So uh, I, I always get a kick out of that. And so that's why we have the ox and you know, Shamgar is kind of a, a legend in my mind, even though we don't really know what he did. Um, so now we are just in, I mean, uh, in, in Mountain Blade. It's playing Mountain Blade and really not all that different from uh, Warband. But, um, I mean, interface is a fair bit different, but way better. Uh, so, rebuild your clan. This is kind of what we're going to want to focus on here at the beginning, particularly getting ourselves up to clan tier 1, which we have to get up to 50 renown. Um, and we can see here our, our clan screen. So we have members, our companions will show up over here, um, and like all this stuff is is a bit later in the game where it comes into play. But uh, 
I didn't realize we could set ourselves a clan roll. Um, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. So, this is all new, essentially. You didn't have this whole clan concept, really, in, uh, uh, Warband. Uh, so that's kind of new. Um, but what we getting ourselves up to clan tier uh, clan tier number one allows us to hold uh, have much larger armies um, so we go to be limited to 20 and I think some other things like our leadership stat and whatnot uh, can boost up that number but um, clan tier zero we can have 20 base and uh, clan tier one we can have 45 and once we have 45 we can start uh, Growing that renowned a lot faster. So j just like um, Just like in warband Renowned affects the number of, of Troops we can have except that now it, it's in steps instead of uh, a progression of You know just slowly getting bigger and bigger <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I was going to read for you guys um, the Rebuild Your Clan here. Calradia is a land full of peril, but also opportunity. To face challenges that await, you will need to build up your clan. Your brother told you that there are many ways to go about this, but that none forego coin. Trade would be one means to this end. Fighting and selling off captured bandits in a town another. Whatever your whatever path you choose to pursue, pursue. Uh, traveling alone would make you easy pickings for whomever you can whomever came across your trail. Uh, you you know that you can recruit men to follow you from the not notables of a village and towns of villages and towns. Ah, notables is such a weird word choice. Uh, though they may ask you for a favor to of their own before they allow you access to their more valuable fighters. Naturally, you may also find more unique characters in the taverns of Calradia. However, these tend to favor more established clans. Which is uh, pretty standard uh, Mountain Blade stuff that's explained in there. But it is our quest. Uh, so this is our character screen. And so I'm going to... You know what? Uh, we're doing a lot of talking. We'll come back to the character screen. First, we're going to have some actual mountain bladeness. All right. First, recruit troops. Recruit all. Bam. Nine troops. And uh, five products, that's what I want. We want well, Munchies are much cheaper to buy in villages. I didn't realize we can buy the, these here. We'll have to keep that in mind for later. Uh, but for now, Let's just buy some grain. So down here we have the estimated, uh, or, or the number of food items that we have, um, which is an estimated 14 days until no food. Uh, so leave there. Uh, let's see if we can catch these bandits. Surrender or die. Attack. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so this is an interesting thing that will hopefully get fixed uh, where if you are in first person when you start a battle attack uh, you see the inside of your dude's face or dudette's face which you can just hit R to go the third person and hit R again to go back in and it goes away A whole point six renowned. We're well on our way to getting stuff. That's cool. Um, yeah. This is a different town. So let's recruit more peoples. Where do we want to head? Um, <laughs> I want to start working my way over to these guys. I would never really spent time over here in my previous game. So let's go find out what they are all about. Recruit some troops. We're almost full already. I mean, the the thing, the easy mode on the troop recruiting is probably making all the difference there. This is actually pretty cool. Um, all all the stuff, like we can go into the tavern, and there are a few things that we have to go into the tavern to do, but the stuff, like. Ransoming your prisoners is that easy, and it was not that easy in uh, Warband. We can also talk to companions here. Um, so, if I go talk to her, this will bring us into the tavern. This game looks so much nicer than the old one. <laughs> um, I. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. I I may also do terrible, terrible voices throughout the, the game here. So don't mind me. Go ahead and laugh. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. My name is Durek, madam. Tell me about yourself. So she, she, she is uh, one of the potential companions that we can have. Um... So let's see what her deal is. Uh, I tell, I'll, I'll tell you of my tale, but I will warn you in advance. It is of no concern to me whether you approve or disapprove of what I did. I came from a good family w with much land. Since I was a girl, I wished to be a shield maiden. I practiced fighting with the village boys and and the old warriors. But it is a strange thing. While some families in our land take pride in a daughter who takes up arms, others ac accord it others accord it great. Accor oh, accord it great shape. Sorry. Uh, I I thought okay. Never mind. Others accord it great shame, and my father was of the latter type. I had no special desire to be married, but my family found me a groom anyway. I consented, but my husband and I detested each other from the first. 
Once he insulted me in the marketplace, I cursed his manhood. He struck me, and I pulled a knife, and he pulled his. I won. That's terrifying. So if I take you on, don't make you mad. Got it. The elders sat in judgment on our case. As it turned out, they had plenty of precedent. They, they accorded our fight a fair duel, and thus I was innocent of murder. Oh. Well, that's good. On the other hand, I was excluded from his inheritance. I suppose that was fair, although I would have enjoyed wearing his jewels and riding his horse in front of his family. Now that's just cruel. <laughs> <laughs> you slew your husband in a duel? Get away. Um, indeed, no doubt such a... Such Traditions encourage husbands to behave better than they might otherwise do. Yeah, yeah, got it. I had to process a second what that actually was saying. Um, but yeah, okay. Suffice it to say, I could not return to my father's house. I went on my way, happy to live the life of a warrior. But I had always dreamed uh, a warrior... Uh, the life of a warrior I had always dreamed of living. But soon I found out the tales I loved as a girl of, a shield maiden, of shield maidens who fought for honor do not pertain to a woman with no family or, or, no, or land. The, no family or land. Uh, one cannot fight for honor when one does not know where the next meal comes from. So I fight for pay. Right now, I am in between jobs, so if you've got any work for me, I am willing to discuss it. I can use someone like you in my company. And yeah, she's real expensive. Um, I cannot afford that just now. But we'll come back. Uh, so, anything else we want to do here? Um, no, we can leave. So, what next? Um... I guess we keep heading west. Uh, let's go here. Let's, see. let's chase these bandits. We got him. Surrender or die, Brigid. my face there may be a day where the courage of men fail ow okay never mind charge <laughs> oh missed the bridge it's it's strategy i'm getting behind them One whole room and downed. Gee, mister, thanks. 
Let's see if we can catch these guys too. And then we'll call it an episode. Come on. I think we're gaining. Doot, doot, doot. Bam! We might be fighting both of these. Yeah, we're fighting both. Just still just 17. Uh, it should go all right. I can hold down Alt and see where they are. Does that mean they have archers? No. Cause wait. Oh. Interesting. Okay, we'll come back to that. Hello! I cannot see very much right now. I thought this would be easier to see. But it's not much. And I can't really see more clearly. Oh, I gained a level. Because my microphone is in front of my face. So. Not that it really mattered. Uh, yeah, we didn't even lose anybody. Just. Oh, I'm following the retreating guy. That's why. Okay. There we go. Wow. Lots of prisoners. That'll be a whole 35 gold. All right. Uh, yeah, let's uh, call it an episode here. And uh, then we'll come back and do uh, something. Go see what these guys are about and get our renowned up fighting it's going to be fighting a lot of bandits um because i mean it, it took me several hours to get to that point uh in, in my previous game and uh i i may skip some of that where i'm just running around trying to catch every bit of bandit i can uh that's what i'm looking for we are, uh, we only have 10 renown to go, so that's not that bad. So, we will, we'll come back and do that next time. I'll see you guys later.